Ladies and gentlemen, Side Strafe back with some more Rising Storm. Today we're actually playing on the Japanese team, and this is technically my second time playing this map, although the first time I played it was only for a few minutes, so I do not consider myself an expert when it comes to navigating it. But uh, we'll see what we can do here. Gonna hold down T and check for my next defensive position. And I want to make sure that we're clear before moving in because typically I find that I rush in a little too far and get my face shot off. I don't really appreciate that happening, so let's try to prevent it, shall we? Okay, we've got some friendlies on all sides of the building. This is where we shall hold. This is a defensive position. I know typically the Americans like to come through here once in a while. Gotta watch out for those uh, pesky flamethrowers as well, because they are quite lethal. One down. Just where I thought they might eventually come from. Oh. Friendly down. Uh, might have been through the window, though. Trying to keep an eye on both the windows and this... Uh, Garage door here. I can't seem to grab him. Oh, well, that explosive, I think, did the job. Up, oh, LMG. He's down. We're going to need to reload here. I just heard an M1 Garand reload. I think uh, there's a. Rifle right there. And he's down. He tried to do a little bit of a peek. Uh, at this point, they might be on to my position, though. Perhaps relaying uh, via voice. I'm worried about them coming through the other side as I'm watching there. Hopefully, my team is looking around. The other ends. Uh, it's a friendly. That's a friendly body down on that side. I'm a little worried about that. I'm just still holding on to this position. This guy watching the other side there. Just trying to keep aware of everything. Right down the back. See, this is why I gotta look behind me as well as this route. Movement that's friendly. I ah on the right. No, don't tell me that was what was that? No, I got it was green, so I got killed by marine. I think. I thought it might have been friendly fire because there was a guy right there. So taking a look at the map here just to make sure to see what we got going on. They've already dropped us there. I typically find it to be a bad idea to spawn on a squad leader in a, in a random uh, or a pub match with without uh, friends involved. Same as in Battlefield. So we're going to try to head uh, to back to our defensive position. Again, I want to clear my route in. Watching for the windows, catwalks. The high ground might be a good idea. Saw movement there, but okay, there's an American coming around. Oh, flame in. I think that K-99 
came through the windows there. Oh, that flamethrower. I can feel the heat, let me tell you. My eyes are also looking at the windows as well as that entry point there. Americans up front out there uh, threw some shots, but I don't think it was. Oh my goodness, a lot of them coming in. Reloading. Took one at least. This weapon, not exactly great. Uh, at those moving targets at the range through that little window there, but... Uh, just trying to keep them back. Perhaps suppressed, even. Uh, I made the wall unhappy. Got a lot of smoke. Alright, we've got the depot. Oh! American just tried to crawl through there. They grabbed him. More shots out. They might try to come through that garage door again. But uh, this guy's on him. Windows still a problem to the right. Okay, friendly's still there. This allows us to grab some cover here, but maintain a look on the uh, garage door. See some legs right there. I know I could uh, go prone, but I'm kind of just wanting to stay mobile. In case they come in from the flanks. And I'm just firing burst. So as to not have too much recoil. Some shots going out, but it just doesn't look like I'm connecting well enough. Reloading. If anything, we got one, and, uh, just trying to keep him pinned. Perhaps suppress a little bit. I know this is an assault class, I should probably be, you know, busting through, through doors and whatnot, but, uh... I don't know, in my opinion, I'm doing an okay job with some defense here. There's another one down. This weapon doesn't seem too bad for this job because we've got some uh, really tight corridors to shoot through. I think they're coming through on the, on the right. Ah, we still lost. They came through at the last second there on the right side. Grabbed one, but uh, there was maybe two or three more. I don't know if that was what one that won it for them. Um, Ten kills. Nothing fancy, but... My honor level. Dishonor penalties, team killing, negative one. Hmm. 
That could have been. I wonder if that was before I started recording, though. I'm not sure, because there was a little bit of warm-up time that I had. Or I may have tapped somebody. It's hard to say. We'll see how this goes. Where are we headed next? We're still going to do this one. Um... Let's see, machine gunner, sniper, light mortar, squad leader, assault. Oh, or we could do that. We could change the maps. Let's see what we get next. Again, I'm, I'm probably going to keep mentioning this, but uh, just really happy with the amount of, uh, you know, realism titles that are kind of making it back you know into the world of pc gaming um obviously red orchestra 2 has been around for some time but uh i think that this is going to help out uh, a lot more just to have this nice standalone expansion and then uh, we've also got insurgency as well and i'm gonna hit auto select and whatever happens happens so all right there we go rifleman uh, machine gunner engineer what's engineer got oh the m1 carbine Let's try that out. Although, what else did I have? Let's see how this goes. Oh, this should be pretty crazy. I have barely played this map. We're all running up the beach. And I wonder if this is just like, all right, if you're lucky, you make it through. I'm going to try to push up to this rock. Okay, we made it. Sometimes it, it literally is just luck. And if you could imagine, you know, nobody can imagine except for the guys that were really there, you know, just having to rush up. And literally it's like, okay, you know, who's going to be the lucky one that survives? You're all, you know, you're all running, and all it takes is a stray bullet. So, objective-wise... Destroy. Alright, so we gotta figure out how to... Push up here. Alright, we're at this bunker here. I'm gonna try to clear. Oh! Contact one runner. Pretty sure he's not gonna come back. Got to keep pushing. See, so the rest of the team is, for the most part, getting the job done. I just saw a body part flopping around. Thought it was a grenade almost. I'm hearing shots from the front here, but I'm feeling alone. Paranoid at the moment. Well, look at that booby trap. Question is can I shoot it? Or are they, are they able to be. Yep. Alright, it's probably a little close, but. Uh... 
I almost hit those things. Holy crap. Oh, we're clean here. Got all these pill boxes here to deal with. Just watching for movement. Very difficult with all the uh, the rocky terrain. Hard to see the silhouettes and whatnot. It's kind of creepy in a way. Uh, where's that friendly? I almost want to stick with somebody, you know? front. Ah, oh, son of a gun. Grenade takes me. Alright, well, I'm going to have to learn this map a little bit more, too. I'm going to have to learn all the maps, really, just to figure out the routes and, and how to really push them, because uh, this one seems like one you definitely got to hit, you know, hard and fast. Um, let me see something here. I've got a satchel charge as well, uh, but I don't necessarily... Got a grand. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna switch to this just for the sake of having something a little bit more accurate. And then let's see if we can grab a squad leader spawn. These guys are holding this line here. Oh, take cover. Trying to watch for movement. It's really tough to hit these guys with these iron sights. All right, let's, uh, not fire from that location again, but these guys are all hanging out over here. Let's try to move across. Shit, a lot of debris, a lot of uh, silhouettes. I see some bodies. I think a shot just came in. Saw some shots here. I think they fired a couple of rounds at that guy up there. There's movement, and we are down to a LMG, it looks like. From kind of hard to tell, maybe that uh, wooden uh, pillbox. Mostly trying to follow a couple of these guys around and hope that they know what they're doing, because I sure don't. Uh, I see a rifle sticking through that bunker there. And it is definitely Japanese. But uh, I don't know if he ran out. I think he's prone right about there. There's another... He's down. Uh, I don't know... That was the second guy. There's a grenade that just went into over there. If, if anybody moves, I'm going to drop him, hopefully. Keep your eyes open, soldier. Oh. Movement left. Is 
Something moving down over there. Maybe somebody crawling. I hear a mortar. Up. Oh. Shooting techs. Yeah, they're all going through that bunker. I just don't know how much backup I've got over here. Already. We almost need somebody with a uh, shotgun or, or Thompson. Maybe even the flamethrower. Grab that guy as he was coming out, but we've got one in front. Once again, it's uh, it's it's my you know my one ph uh, philosophy about uh, you take somebody. There's always somebody to get revenge. Looking at this uh, main position here where the gun is located. Alright, let's follow these guys. Could you imagine this game with Frostbite Engine? Ugh, oh, man. This gameplay. I tend to do that a lot because the Frostbite Engine is indeed one of my favorites, but uh, it's just unfortunate that. The gameplay we have to deal with in the battlefield is the way it is, but that's how it goes in the old industry. And then you get shot in the skull. <laughs> I was killed by smoke. Alright, uh, I don't focus on my map enough. I know I can bring that up as well. I've been using the T key just to find my objectives, but... Uh, Here's what we got from the spectator point of view, but as you can see, we are controlling most of the environment. Let's go this way. Hopefully my head's not sticking out. Something happened with the flamethrower there. I'm curious if you can uh, hit the fuel tank on the flamethrower and cause it to explode. I haven't seen that happen yet. You'd think that uh, they would do something like that considering how detailed the game actually is. But um, I think maybe I've got some movement up there. I'm not sure. Trying to call in some artillery. Soften them up. Ooh. On my luck, I'm going to get toasted, though. And most of the forces are on the other side there. I think I'm taking fire, though. Fall back! Something about that position that I just didn't like. can link up with the squad. See that we've got some friendlies on this side. And obviously the, the game's going to be better with uh, friends as well as having uh, voice comms enabled, but once again, for the sake of the commentary, I tend to disable those things because uh, then you can't necessarily hear me or what I have to say. Um, and generally, you know, I, I try to avoid dealing with a lot of the negativity you get from, you know, public voice chatter and 
Uh, that's a lot of stuff that I don't necessarily want on my channel, so it kind of depends. Uh, now, perhaps I'll look at trying it out one day where I have voice comms enabled. And, uh, there's not really any commentary, but just straight gameplay. But we'll have to see, because uh, typically I haven't been able to play a game that's worth really doing that. Depends on the community and the time of day or the server sometimes. I don't think it's too bad with this game. Arma is another good uh, title to do that with. Everybody's moving up from this point. Oh, that's that. I didn't really get to do a whole heck of a lot, but... Uh, uh, it might be my fault. Uh, there was a couple of kills at that uh, one bunker that we managed to grab, but we did win the round, and, well, that works for me. I'll take it to the bank, as I typically tend to say. But uh, I think that's been it, ladies and gents. Uh, we've had some uh, fun gameplay today. Really liking this title, and uh, definitely want to keep on it. Again, if you currently own... Red Orchestra 2, it is discounted uh, for pre-order. I paid $11.99 for this bad boy, and that is a killer deal. Uh, otherwise, you're looking at, I believe, uh, $19.99, which, again, is still cheap uh, for what you're going to get if you love multiplayer World War II style combat as well as extreme realism then it doesn't get much better than this uh, I have to say no vehicles but you do still have 64 player support using the Unreal Engine and uh, you know for me in terms of realistic games you've got you know the Arma series Insurgency and this and uh, again it's just nice to have this a lot of fun and uh, I think it's a good addition to the channel and hopefully it will just uh, bring some more life within the, uh, the, or bring some more life to the Red Orchestra franchise. Uh, definitely, let's just, you know, spread the word. And, uh... oh, snap, what happened? I think that I've been hit to the point of passing out. <laughs> They're like, end the, end the commentary already. It's over, man. Just stop talking and end it. <laughs> so it was trying to do a, a dip to black for me instead of uh, me adding it on my own. It's like, okay, well, I'll take a hint. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you on the next one.